morning and thank you for joining us. Let's start today's technical analysis with the euro dollar pair and the recent events stirring the markets. Emma. The euro rose 0.5% against the dollar in the last trading session. The MACD is giving a negative signal. Amazon stock dropped 1.9% in the last session. The MACD's negative signal is in line with the overall technical analysis. The pound dollar pair rose 0.3% in the last session. The RSI is giving a positive signal. The last session saw the Aussie gain 0.7% against the dollar. The stochastic indicator is giving a positive signal. Thanks, Emma. Moving on to the latest updates in world financial news. Gold futures ended lower for a second straight session, extending their pullback from the five-week highs seen earlier this week. Gold struggled despite the slight pullback in Treasury yields. The IMF Fiscal Monitor is the final in a flurry of reports from both the Fund and the World Bank, highlighting the fragile state of the global economy as it struggles with the lingering effects of the pandemic and the shock of war in Ukraine. Coinbase, the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the US, has launched its much-awaited marketplace for digital collectibles in beta mode. The platform becomes available for a small number of users, with more to be added over the coming weeks. Thank you for this, Emma. Coming up, today's major economic events. The US continuing jobless claims will be released at 12.30 GMT. The US initial jobless claims at 12.30 GMT and the Eurozone's consumer confidence at 1400 GMT. The Dutch Consumer Confidence ADJ will be released at 0430 GMT. Japan's National Consumer Price Index at 2350 GMT. The UK's GFK Consumer Confidence at 2301 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to log in tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets.